What's up YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeathead.com and today we're going to talk about customer reviews and what you should be doing with them. Alright, welcome back. So uh, I have a few brands that I own and a uh, big thing online these days is customer reviews. Um, kind of, a, I consider myself kind of a, uh, a ninja when it comes to getting reviews and kind of circumventing the system to use the v reviews as um, to my advantage. I've kind of found that to be in a c competitive advantage over the years out here in Las Vegas. And I never used to really be into the whole review thing uh, until I owned a party bus company and I realized uh, there was a lot of business to be had on Yelp back in the day. This was uh, 2012, 2013. And then uh, move that uh, knowledge over to Vegas to the brands I own out here, and um, you know it's been it's been really lucrative for me to to keep up on these reviews and use these reviews in my content and on landing pages and, and whatnot. And it and it does kind of all play into uh, the affiliate game too. For those of you out there who own a Shopify store, um, you know affiliate marketers and uh, obviously Amazon FBA sellers, uh, the reviews are are huge on all fronts. Okay. Uh, it, it's kind of a one of those things that's like uh, you know it's a lot of work but it's it's also a lot of rewards so you got to kind of play the game uh, with w whichever platform you're on uh, so I, I put together a blog post today and uh, the blog post uh, talks about um, using cu customer reviews in your content and uh, just to maybe stimulate some ideas here okay so going through this uh, blog post I'll put a link to this below and um, basically just talking about um, you know why reviews are so important. Uh, Eighty-five to eighty-eight percent of the people out there uh, basically determine if they're going to work with like a local business uh, or a business in general uh, based on the re on the reviews they read. So, um, you know, positive reviews can make a customer trust the business seventy-two percent of the time. Okay, so you know this is basically saying that it's almost as like giving someone a referral. Like when someone gives me a referral those people have like a really good chance of working with me, like 50-50 I'd say. Uh, whereas if, you know, not everybody's going to have heard of your business or your store or your Amazon product, for example. Um, so they need to read these reviews to trust you, okay? So that's kind of the importance of reviews. And, um, you know, it, reviews will typically talk about, you know, the big three, reliability, expertise, uh, and professionalism. Those are kind of the main things that people... Um, talk about in, in reviews and whatnot. So, you know, obviously some don't apply to, uh, you know, certain products and whatnot, but in my business, uh, obviously reliability is huge, expertise is big, and uh, professionalism is big. Those are important things in my services businesses, okay? I own, I own four brands, okay? So, uh, basically this, this blog post, I'll just kind of run through it real quick, and then I'm going to go into some more details on kind of how my review system works. And uh, I think I promised this a while ago on a bit video way back when. And for those of you who have been waiting for it, here it is. Uh, but one thing you can do with your reviews when you start getting some reviews, either on your Yelp or your Amazon page um, or your Google listing or your Facebook. Uh, there's so many different places for people to put reviews. I use a uh, program called Trustpilot. And what Trustpilot is is like a third-party review system uh, that apparently Google trusts enough that they have a system in place that those reviews account as good as Google reviews, okay, when it comes to ranking a website and whatnot. So Trustpilot I have on two of my busier websites. Um, you know, here, I'm going to show you an example here. This is uh, my website, bachelorvegas.com. And if you'll notice here, here's the, the home page. Then you scroll down to the right here and you see these, these reviews, okay. Some girl reviewed this 17 hours ago. Um, and then I've been kind of slacking on, on these because I've been pushing more people to the, the Google reviews, which... Uh, you can see here I have uh, Google reviews, Bachelor Vegas, um, 149 Google reviews. I believe when you get to 150 reviews on the Google listing, uh, when you're running ad Google ads, that those stars will actually start to show on your uh, ad, on your actual ad, and on you know the top of the top of the listing, whatever people are searching for. So I'm I'm one away from hitting that uh, 150 here, and I'll see if they pop up. Now I was kind of under the impression that. Uh, this is kind of what I was sold when I was sold Trustpilot. Um, Trustpilot's not cheap, by the way. They're a pretty expensive third-party service. 
and I think I pay three hundred a month for one of my websites, and then they they kind of offered me another uh, website for another hundred a month. So I'm at four hundred a month now, and I have it on two different websites. And uh, the thing with Trustpilot is they um, they uh, these reviews here. I think it's I don't know how many I have here, but there's about forty or so that I've accumulated over the last year on just Bachelor Vegas. And uh, those were supposed to be like in conjunction with the Google ads. And I was trying to get to that 150 number like last year sometime. And I've been way over 150 if you add the trust pilot and the Google reviews for quite some time. And I'm still not getting the stars up in my Google ad listing. So just an FYI, if you are trying to get those stars in the uh, listing, it's supposed to be 150 reviews on Google. And um, I don't think the, the trust pilot and the Google system are driving properly, at least on my end. Uh, to get those, you know, to get those stars in that uh, 150 number. So I'll go. I'll just go ahead and get it done the old-fashioned way here with, with the actual Google reviews. I'm I'm one away from hitting 150, and then I, I'm going to keep an eye on my my Google ad to see if it's, you know, the stars start appearing in the actual uh, snippet. Okay, so um, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> so one of the places you can add reviews is to your your blog posts and whatnot. If you have like um, you know blog posts going out. Uh, that you're putting up constantly. If you're if you're using uh, another place, is uh, I'm obviously on the homepage I showed you there. Here's my surreal website where I have the other uh, other Trustpilot widget. Okay, the widget goes on the, the sidebar. Uh, that's another place you can put reviews. Um, you can display reviews on like your landing pages. I'm running my Google AdWords, and then I put uh, some screenshots of different people that have reviewed me on Yelp on my landing pages. Okay, so that's another place. A lot of people like to do this this plugin, which is kind of like a uh, a Facebook widget type of thing, where people can log in and they can leave like a Facebook review or comment on the um, you know whatever the product is or service. So that's that's popular too on landing pages. Yeah, you'll see a lot of like mobile landing pages out there that have these kind of like mimicked. And basically, while you're like looking at the page, a review will pop in. It's just some code. I've coded it myself before. We can actually like go in and like the the comments start appearing while you're on the landing page like people are actually actively commenting but um, it's basically just a, a kind of a spoof i think people are a little smarter than that these days um and you know this is uh, another comment here create a design review landing page now i have trust pilot i'm paying for that but uh, we actually have a place on bachelor vegas uh, underneath like some of the clubs and whatnot where we've actually created like a uh, review system on our internally for our own site and whatnot. So that's another option. That's obviously going to be a little bit more work and a little bit more coding. I'm sure on WordPress there's plugins. I know for Shopify there's plugins for reviews. So that's um, a place to put your reviews based on just like a plugin on Shopify. And of course Amazon has their you know own review system and, and all your listings. So uh, you can also use uh, reviews when you're like posting. Uh, social media content for example like if you're doing like posts on Facebook we like to take a little snippet of like a Yelp review or a uh, Trustpilot review or even a Google review and you, you post that along with like an image of some sort um, on Facebook or Instagram and it just gives customers that social proof when they're looking at your business or whatever so uh, it's a good place to put it it's also nice to put out an email and show people your positive reviews uh, if you're sending out an email and you haven't hit your list for a while for example uh, just you know hey look I got all these nice reviews from these people blah 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 and it's a good place to put it social media um, email uh, you know all the social medias too when I'm when I'm talking about YouTube Pinterest Instagram Facebook everywhere it's, it's good to put those reviews out there and get that social proof going um, one bonus tip I wanted to mention here was uh, you know it's really important to respond to your reviews even the positive ones you know most of the time when I get a positive review I'm kind of bad at this actually I don't really respond I'm just like oh thanks you know I'll text the person and let them know thank you for sending that review but I it's good to like respond on the actual review itself and giving uh, the people uh, you know obviously the the person that gave the review a little bit of a you know satisfaction that like he, he saw it and he appreciates it because that builds like customer trust and value uh, and you know it gives people that uh, warm fuzzy feeling that you know you really do care about what they they think and you know that really helps your business grow when they'll likely give you a referral in the future. Um, also, when it comes to negative reviews, uh, this is really important, and I'm really good about this. If I get a negative review, which doesn't happen too often, by the way, but if I do, I like to I like to immediately respond and either offer some kind of fix or show show publicly that I'm trying to fix the problem. You know, there are there are situations and that people you know are a little bit unreasonable, and um, 
you know, maybe they're just, you know, having a bad day or whatever, but, uh, you know, they leave with some kind of negative review. You try to handle it the best you can, and at least it shows the other people out there, the other customers out there that you actually do care and you are working to resolve the problem. So that's important. So that's kind of a bonus tip. Um, now, let me show you kind of how my whole system works with reviews. It's a little bit manual, but um, it really does work well because, uh, you know, as far as I could set up an automation system, whereas, you know, somebody ha comes for the weekend uh, and the final email that they get would trigger like a, maybe a, an email like three or four days later that would automatically give them uh, opportunity to review on like say Trustpilot or Yelp or Google, I could set it up for whatever. It's not hard to set up an automated type of system, but um, I found over the years anyway that th those don't work that well. I mean, people, when they get an email, half the time it goes into their spam box, half the time they don't open it, and then the, the rest of the time when they do open it, they just disregard it. So uh, people get inundated with emails. If anybody's like me, uh, I think the number I saw the other day is 140 emails come into people's inbox on average per day. So, I mean, you know, it's going to get lost in the mix. So I found, like, sending out a text message, like, shortly after the weekend. Like, if people are here, say, Tuesday through Sunday, I'll send a text out either Monday or Tuesday, remind them. And then let me show you how this whole thing works. It's, it's manual, but it, it does really work on getting reviews. So uh, I put the, uh, the name of the person, obviously, and then, you know, which website they came in, in through or whether they're a, a Bachelor Vegas or a Surreal customer or a Bachelorette Vegas customer, uh, for example. And um, I, I put the weekend, obviously, that they're here. And then when I text them and let them know, hey, uh, could you leave me a review? And if, even if they don't respond, I, I mark it in blue that I've actually made contact with them and I asked for a review. This person has not responded back. This was, None of these people have responded back to me, okay? Now, the people that have responded back, a lot of times what they'll say is, oh, yeah, I'll leave one for you. Just tell me where. So that's when I send out a, um, a text. And I have uh, here, I'll show you, show you what I have here. Now, um, you need a little bit of a coding experience to get this to work right. But I have actual uh, links here that are actually Google links. And when you open one of these up, you'll see it goes right to the, right to the review page. Okay, see how that popped up? Um, that is a, uh, a little bit of a coding trick. Uh, if you are interested in learning that, I could possibly uh, make another video about how to set that up. So this pops up automatically uh, when, you, when you click on those links. It's a little bit of a, a trick. It's not, it's not super easy. My, my developer had to do that. I, didn't, I couldn't even figure it out on my own, but my developer did. And um, it's cool because now you can just re rate and review uh, right there because it just popped up. I mean, it's just you can't, you can't get lost on that, obviously. So that is, um, let me go back to where I was here. So that, that's kind of handy. So I send that out to the people. And then once I send them, you know, basically I have a lot of options here on the top. If you notice this bar on the top, I have, um, yeah, I'm going to expand this out so you can see. Uh, I have like Bachelor Vegas, Yelp. Then I have Bachelor uh, Vegas Facebook, Yelp, Google, uh, Trustpilot. Okay. And then I got, you know, I got a lot of options here. So, you know, every weekend I might be working with 20 people. Well, I have like 20 different choices. Uh, for reviews and um, you know here's surreal Facebook Google trust I need to add another column here for uh, <laughs> surreal uh, trust pilot so uh, let's do that right now while we're on the call here so this column is going to be uh, SN trust pilot because I just added that to my mix Oops, and if I could spell that would be better but I cannot spell today T. there we go all right so so now we have a uh, surreal trust pilot in there as well and uh, I'm not sure why this thing uh, highlighted that it shouldn't have done that but uh, you can easily just take those highlights off okay so basically then what happens is I if I tell them like hey this is the link go to this link leave me a review I kind of maybe coach them on what to say like sometimes I don't want them to say my name uh, because I don't want to be in every single review I do have a VP of sales so we kind of mix it up to where he's in some I'm in some and then some just basically you know they'll say the company like um, you know Thank you to Bachelor Vegas for doing this so that people just can see that we're a larger company or whatever. Uh, so I'm not in every single review. I don't want to be a, like a one-man show. And then uh, basically that that's that's it when it comes to the reviews. But I do have another uh, column here that's kind of interesting, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link to a video above on how I take advantage of this. Uh, sometimes I ask the people to not leave a review on my stuff, on my listings, but actually on the club listings. And uh, what this does on the club Yelp, the club Google, and the club Facebook is it gives me a whole nother level of exposure because a lot of people have never heard of Bachelor Vegas or Surreal Nightlife, but they've heard of 
Omnia. They've heard of Excess, okay? So these people, they go on and they start looking at the nightclubs and they're like, oh, the Excess, let me check this out on Yelp or let me check this out on um, you know, TripAdvisor or wherever. And basically, I'll have people leave me reviews there so that way I get a lot more eyeballs on my reviews. And that's like free traffic I'm going to get because I put my phone number and my name, but not my business. You can't put your business. So that's a super ninja trick, but I did a whole video on that and I'll link to the video uh, above here. But then it's pretty simple process here. Once they uh, once they um, they're told where to put the review, I, I move the the highlight over to this this box, for example. And then once I actually see the review come through, then I put a one. They, they gave me a review. So this person, uh, David here, he's he's already given me a review. I won't bother him again. Uh, you know, hit me up on the next trip, send me referrals, blah blah blah. Thanks for sending me a review. Now this person here, I've asked for a review, but I haven't seen it come through yet. So this. This is what happens all the time in these reviews is you ask somebody for it and then they forget. They don't do it. And, you know, these are people I know. These are people, are my friends and whatnot in a lot of cases. So, you know, you got to kind of bug them again. You got to push them a little bit. So uh, all these people here, I'll probably hit up again tomorrow. And, um, and these people that haven't actually left me a review, there's a couple over here. Um, here, I got to take this out. Um, this is goofy because I'm on a different screen here. So... Oops, sorry about that. And um, yeah, so, you know, it's like you got to nudge them. So generally what I've found, what's kind of worked for me is that uh, it usually takes about three touches. Now, a lot of people, you know, these guys basically hit them up. They gave me a review right away. They did it right on the spot. You know, it doesn't take but a couple of seconds to go in and just type a sentence or two, especially from your phone these days. I give you the link. It opens it up. You type a couple sentences and you're off to the races but man some of these people just they just don't want to they don't want to waste you know they're busy they're in the middle of something and they're just like yeah i'll get to it i'll leave you a review tomorrow or i'll do it the next day and they never do they forget and that's when you got to kind of nudge them so um you know give them another text maybe two days after the original one and then maybe a third text like a couple days after that or the following week and uh if they haven't they, they, you can't get them to leave a review or they're not responding after three times and i just kind of i let it go i don't want to be like a pest you know what i'm saying like if they're so busy that they can't you know take two seconds of their day to give me a review then then so be it I, I mean obviously it's it is what it is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be that guy that just bugs them to death you know it's like it is what it is okay i gave you three shots it doesn't take but a second to leave me a quick review helps my business uh you know in the future i'll remember that and you know do what i can to go above and beyond but you know after three times i just stop bugging them i mean that's just kind of the, that's just for me that's but what, what's been working for me so um, as you can see, you know, I have a lot of reviews. It, it really works. I have uh, I have 149 here on Google under Bachelor Vegas. I'm crushing everybody in that department. And, uh, you know, what's interesting here about Yelp, I wanted to bring this up here before I close this video out, is that Yelp's kind of annoying, okay? Here's the problem with Yelp. Um, there's, there's good and bad about Yelp. Yelp actually worked really well in my party bus business for, uh, for uh, the party bus business in Chicago. And I paid money to advertise on Yelp. It used to give me a lot of leads, and I would close enough deals where I could justify the cost of the advertising versus the, the amount of deals. So if, say, for example, I spent 400 a month with Yelp, I could close maybe on average hundred, maybe 1500 or $2,000 in deals. Minus out the 400 well, there was still enough left that it made sense. I was still making a profit, okay? So I tried to run uh, Yelp ads with uh, the the. VIP hosting business in Las Vegas. I tried with Surreal Nightlife and Bottle Service. I tried with Bachelor Vegas. I tried with Bachelorette Vegas. I've tried all their new programs. They've come out with these pay-per-click programs. They've changed the, the algorithm, and they supposedly made it all better, and this and that. And I've tried three different times now and paid a bunch of money. In fact, I was contracted at one time for a year with these guys. I had to pay a year, and they just did not deliver. The leads were garbage. Uh, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and say Yelp is bad. In this business, it's bad. Okay, in my business, it does not work. It did not work for me. I've tried everything. I've tried, you know, updating my listings. I've tried more pictures. I've tried videos. I've done everything. It just did not work. The leads that came in were junk, and they were very, very sparse. Not enough even to come close to covering the cost of the advertising. So, um, but I, you know, my buddy he owns a plumbing company, and he's got just the opposite experience. He's spending like three grand a month on Yelp ads because he's killing it with those leads. He says he gets tons of leads and they're good leads. He gets a lot of good deals from it and he makes a lot of money from Yelp. So it was the same way in my party bus business. So I'm not sitting here hating on Yelp uh, when it comes to overall, but in some businesses it just doesn't produce what you need it to produce. I do much better spending my money on Google AdWords and the services business when someone Googles bachelor parties in Vegas 
or bachelorette parties, my thing comes up, you know, number one or two or three, and I get a lot of leads from that, and it works really well. You know, I do pay a significant amount of money per month for that, but the leads are good, and I can justify the expense based on the leads I'm getting. Just did not work on Yelp. Now, the other thing that pisses me off about Yelp is that I had 105 reviews on this page, like, less than six months ago. Okay, I worked really hard pushing people to this page and building it up to make my Surreal Nightlife and Bottle Service Yelp page look awesome. Okay, I had 105 reviews. Out of the blue, because I'm not paying for advertising and not paying to play on their platform anymore, they, they took out 70-some reviews. Just gone. They're just gone. I mean, maybe they're still buried somewhere in here, but they don't show. You notice here it just says 23 reviews, and the rest of them are just gone. So all that hard work of getting everybody to, you know, bugging on people to give me reviews and put pictures up and this and that. With Yelp, if you're not paying to play, they just wipe them off. They don't give a shit. So it's, like, really annoying. Um, but that's kind of my uh, my my bitch on Yelp here. But I don't want to, like, rag on them too bad because in certain businesses, I think Yelp is pretty good. And I've had good experience with them in other businesses. My plumber buddy does too. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind when you're looking for Yelp to be a um, – a source for traffic for you on your business that you might have to test it. I think nowadays at least they have like a month to month type of plan for their pay per click where you just pay per the click, uh, more like a Google AdWords type of thing. And um, you can just test it now instead of having to like sign up for a whole year at $400 a month. It was just the worst system ever before. And I got tied into one of those year contracts and I tried to, you know, end it early because it wasn't working. And, you know, of course, then they wanted me to pay some big fee. And I'm just like, you know what, just let the stupid thing ride out. And then that's when I started accumulating the reviews while I was still paying because when you're paying customer, they let those reviews stick. And then all of a sudden I stop paying and they wipe out all my reviews. Super annoying. But it is what it is. So hopefully you guys learned something today. I do know a lot about reviews. If you do have any questions about reviews, uh, you know, go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Uh, I would like to hear if you guys have any suggestions for me on reviews. Uh, definitely be using these reviews in your copy and in your landing pages and all the other things that go along with your internet marketing uh, stuff that, that builds a lot of trust and credibility. And it's, it's really, you know, going to help your business grow over time with, uh, you know, the accumulation of a lot of positive reviews. And uh, if you haven't uh, liked this video, I would appreciate a like on this. And go ahead and share this video with your friends. Anybody that owns a business or whatever, I put a lot of good value in this video. And I've been working really hard to, to grow this channel. And, I, you know, helping me with a like and a share, a uh, comment, all that stuff really helps grow the channel. So I do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, bang that notifications bell. I'm the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.